So in this video, which is currently one of my most viewed videos, I'm showing you how to create an ebook using Canva. And so someone left a comment asking how to start selling it on Shopify. So that's what this video is going to be about today. And I've made thousands of dollars selling ebooks on my own Shopify store, like digital coloring pages for my coloring book store at Entrepreneur's Color 2, and even courses, printables, and programs like I have at my self-publishing store, Book Bag University. But today, if you're looking for a way to sell your ebooks on Shopify, then go ahead and like this video and subscribe so that I know to keep putting out more content like this. Now let's get into it. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is click on the link in my description so that you can start your free trial and then you get your first month for just $1. And you also earn 1% for every sale as credits to use on your Shopify subscription. So the more sales you make, the more that Shopify pays for itself after that first month. After you click that link and sign up for your free trial, you'll see this page. You can go ahead and select your plan. The basic plan is the one you'll select for your first month for a dollar. And after that, it's like $29, but this is the most popular plan. So this plan will be able to do everything that we're talking about in this video. So you would just go ahead and select basic. Next thing you're gonna do is click on settings. You're gonna set up your Shopify payments and payment information. Now you'll just come back to the home page and you'll go ahead and start customizing your store. You can click here to start customizing your online store and click on customize theme. So it automatically defaults as the dawn theme. And and the basic setup for that theme looks like this. So basically you would have your custom image here and then this is where you would see your products here. If you wanted to explore more themes, you can always come to the theme library and visit the theme store. And so basically you can just see some of the themes here. You can even come here to click on explore themes and then you can see um, free versus paid because some of them you do have to pay for. These are the free ones. And then they also have specific ones for books. So like I said, you could just explore that. We're gonna go ahead and keep it at the dawn thing. And then we're gonna go ahead and start customizing this dawn thing. Now when you're customizing your store, it might look overwhelming, but it's really pretty simple. Anything that you actually wanna change, all you do is click on it. So if you wanna change the image, you simply click on this background and then you will be able to um, select an image. You can even change the banner height so you can make it smaller. Um, or you can keep it at large. The other section you'll see is the announcement bar. Some people like to keep the announcement bar as a welcome message. On my store at Book Bag University, my announcement bar says establish and expand your author brand. And then once you click on it, it goes directly to the product. So you can certainly do yours like that. All you would do is click on the announcement bar. You can put whatever you want here. If for some reason you do not want the announcement bar, then you can simply come here and delete this section. You also have your footer section and that's basically where someone could subscribe to your email list and then of course in your main section where the banner image is you can add sections here if you want it to be fuller you just simply scroll over the section then you would click on it if you wanted to add it and then it will add that new section for you we're gonna go ahead and delete that All right now how do you get your image for your banner for mine I created using Canva if you watch this channel then you already know that Canva is like my BFF for graphic design this is the tool that I use for almost everything ranging from my social media posts to my YouTube thumbnails and to my designs for my books and my Shopify stores that I've created. So for example, with my coloring book store, Entrepreneur's Color 2, this is what my banner looks like. And I'll leave the link in the description for Canva as well. But all I did was I clicked on create a design and then I did a custom size and I kept it at pixel and I did 20 to 40 by 1260. Then I created a new design that gives you your blank template. And from there, you can just start working on customizing your template. Another thing you can do when you come to Canva, you can just do a search for Shopify. And once you do that search, you'll see some Canva templates here. And if you like any of those templates, you can simply click on that template and start customizing it. But yeah, with Canva, you can even create simple logos as well. And like I said, I'll leave the link for Canva in the description below. So after you have your graphic, the next thing you'll do is you'll come here where it says apps and you'll click on add app. And you're gonna do a search um, in the Shopify app store. And you're gonna be looking for an app called Digital Downloads. As you're typing, it'll probably show up in the drop down bar like it is here and you would just click on Digital Downloads. So this one is the one that I use. You would just click on it and then click on install and then click on install again so that it can go ahead and start installing it inside of your store. And then once that's complete, you're gonna go ahead and add new products. So let's say how to self-publish a coloring book. Then go ahead and add in your description. 
Now, if you don't have a description, you can generate some ideas by clicking on the first tab that says generate text. And then you would just start putting in some keywords or some phrases like self-published a coloring book on Amazon KDP. And then you can go here to tone. You can choose a tone that you want. Let's do persuasive and then generate. And so once you click on generate, it'll give you a description if you like it. You can keep it or you can generate it again. This description says discover the freedom of creativity of self-publishing with how to self-publish a coloring book. With our step-by-step -step guide, you can easily publish your own coloring book on Amazon KDP, share your unique vision with the world and unleash your artistic potential. All right, so once you have your description, now you're gonna go ahead and upload your image. Of course, I'll leave the link in the description, but I use Canva. So as you can see, this is how my journal course image looks and then this is how my coloring book course image looks. When you're creating your own from the home page, you can do a simple search like ebook mockup and that way you can get some ideas and if any of these templates stand out to you, then you would just click on it and you will go ahead and start customizing your own template. Now, if for some reason you actually need ideas on what to create your ebook about, then you'll wanna click on the link in my comment section where you can download my free guide, five ways to get started creating an ebook, okay? So I got you covered if you are stuck trying to figure out ebook ideas. Once you have your image, you would just upload that here and then you will go ahead and put in your price and we're gonna uncheck where it says track quantity because for eBooks, you don't need to track quantity. The only thing you would need to track would be something like paperback books if you were shipping them yourself. But because this is going to be um, an automatic download, then you don't need to track any quantity because you can't run out of it. You can also go ahead and uncheck this is a physical product because it's not. It goes directly to their email once they actually make the purchase. And then you would just go ahead and click on save and then you can preview and this is exactly what it will look like. You have your image, you have your title here, your price. They can go ahead and add it to cart so that they can purchase it and then you have your description here. Now, of course, you're gonna wanna market your ebook after you're done. One of the ways that I do that is through social media. So you can use things like TikTok or Instagram. For me, I use Instagram. So if you see here on my Instagram page, you'll see where I have this link here and then, so once you click on this link, you'll see where you can download my publishing guide. And I do this using what's called link.bio it's lnk.bio so basically someone will be able to come directly to my instagram profile so basically the way it works is you could create an instagram post or an instagram reel that's related to the ebook that you're selling and then in the caption you can say something like click the link in the bio so that they would know to come directly here and click on it and then they can go ahead and make that purchase and download your ebook so yeah that's how you would sell ebooks using shopify if this video was helpful don't forget to like the video and subscribe even share it with somebody. Now, if you're ready to create your first ebook, then you can watch this video next. And if you want to know the number one way I've been able to generate thousands with my ebooks, then watch this video next. Until next time, bye bye.